think it was a good decision to stay at the refuge last night because um, I had a good dinner, hot shower, um, got to bed right after dinner, slept really well. But um, my, I guess my body just went into ultra repair mode last night because I woke up literally soaked with sweat and um, I had to take my silk shirt off and hang it. And I had to turn my sleeping bag around because it was pretty wet too. Anyway, I feel better today. The plan is to go over a couple steep passes, one of which has a pretty exposed down climb. I hope to get to that before the rain starts because there's gonna be rain and showers in the afternoon. And then uh, meet up with Ari in the um, Refugio de Restanca. And tonight they say it's gonna storm pretty bad. So I think it's a good idea to make that refuge um, as quickly as I can. So last night I ordered um, a picnic lunch for today and they gave it to me last night and it, it has meat in it. <laughs> so it's basically been sitting around for 12 hours unrefrigerated. So I, I kind of expect to get sick today, but at least it's calories. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a pretty strong stomach, so I might not throw up. I don't know. I'm on top of uh, Pic de Mulieres, mi, uh, Muilere, Mulieres, and uh, I gotta get my way down because the visibility is decreasing pretty rapidly. I'm at the uh, Corret de Molier, Molieres, and uh, I'm in a, it's like a class four scramble for about 20 or 30 feet down, so I've gotta, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on, at the notch, so I've gotta, I'm gonna rest for a little bit and then just go down this. It took me about, I don't know, two and a half hours to get down from the pass up there. I'm headed toward the a set of buildings right now near the refuge Viela. And um, it looks closed though. I don't know if I'll be able to get anything to eat. If I can't get anything to eat there, what I'll do is I'll just sit in the parking lot, eat something real quick, have a coffee, finish my second sandwich and then push on. I'm getting out of the refugio um, Restanca a little after 7. It's about 7.15 right now. I wanted to leave sooner, but it was just taking me too long. And in the morning, it was raining really hard. Last night, I had dinner there at the refugio Restanca and um, the I had dinner with Adi and we told him he was vegetarian and fortunately they had some vegetarian options for him so anyway we had a good time but today he and I are parting ways he needs to go into the city to resupply and I'm going to try to try to make it further as far as I can today 
weather dependent. Rain management is being kind of a pain in the ass today because it'll be dry and then it'll there's no wind, so I warm up, so I gotta take off my fleece. And then it'll start raining again, so I'll have to put everything back on. Hopefully this will jinx it and it'll stop raining again <laughs> in five minutes. Buena suerte. Tenga cuidado. I took a big slip on the mud back there and now my ass and my pack is covered with mud. <laughs> well, I just spent about 45 minutes having lunch back there. I ate a couple sandwiches and had a coffee and a orange soda back there. And um, I might be able to make it to, um, what is it, Dicile by this afternoon. It's just gonna depend on the weather and how rugged the trail is. Well, the weather is looking better and better. I got a weather forecast and it's saying that the chance of sun, at least in this location, is getting higher and higher. The chance of rain is getting lower and lower. And with any luck, there won't be a thunderstorm today. Moo. Moo. I was uh, really looking forward to doing some road walking today. And uh, it's basically just a bunch of granite boulders in a slightly wider area so so much for being able to make up lost time it's about uh, 7 30 this morning i'm at the um unmanned uh Iroto Gracia hut and um I came in here about 8 30 last night and the trail getting here was just a fucking nightmare and I fell on the rocks crossing the creek right before here and um I banged up my left shin it actually doesn't hurt at all what really hurts are my feet and my my knees. Last night I was just having a lot of aching in my Achilles tendons and my feet. But I just had to sleep in. I'm not going very far today. Um, the next town I'm going to is called Alos de Seal. And I was talking to one of the guys last night and he was saying there's no stores or restaurants there which i'm glad i didn't try to push on and go there there's no way i could have um made it last night but um i would not have even been able to sleep there i probably would have had a tent in some field um, but i'm low on supplies now i have no more freeze-dried food i have some granola some candy um and that's about it. So I need to go, keep going beyond Alos de Seal to um, the next refuge and um, maybe just divert to a town somewhere just so I can keep going. And my shoes are falling apart. I don't know if they're going to make it to the rest of the trip. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without coffee on these trips because that's really what pushes me through a lot of these. Like the last four hours of the day. So looking at the map, it looks like my next stop needs to be Tabascan. I'll pass through Alos de Seal and um, you know, maybe the guys were wrong. Maybe, um, Maybe there's a place to eat there. Maybe there's a store, but um, I think I just have barely enough food to make it to um, Tabascan today. Looks like those guys 
at the uh, hut were right. There is no bar or refuge here. I spent about 30 minutes in Alos de Sio. I tried to find that refuge that the, that guy said was there, but it wasn't there. And I asked a woman there and she said the closest place to eat was this um, refugee, um, uh, I forget what it's called. And uh, I'm a little sad because Alos de Sio was a really beautiful little town and um, I had hoped that I could take a zero day there. And it was really that cute little quintessential Spanish mountain town that I was looking for, but unfortunately those don't really have much economic activity going in them, so they, they tend to die, which is very sad. But uh, the next town I'm gonna try to make is Tabascan. And um, I just have a feeling I'm gonna be hiking until about 10 tonight. Well, I just had a really big lunch at Refugio del Fornet and uh, with fellow hiker Andrea. And now I'm having a lot of trouble going uphill. <laughs> well, once again, Gaia has indicated there's a trail where there is actually no trail. So I am traversing cross country across a really steep grassy slope, uh, trying to get over a coal up there. Well, I'm glad I went this way because uh, the other way would have been a lot steeper. It's about 8.20 right now and um, I'm trying to get to Tabascan, but um, the trail has just been so rugged that um, I just don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm trying to run runnable sections of the trail. Hopefully I'll roll in there like 10.30 or 11 tonight. Well, it's about 9.45 right now. I've ran without a headlamp as much as I can, but I'm getting onto the main road right now. So I think it's just gonna be safer if I put on a headlamp and I might get to Telescon by 10.30. Well, I managed to find a bed in um, this refuge right now and um, had a great dinner, had a big glass of wine. And um, right now I'm just spreading my stuff out because I got this room to myself, but I just took my shoes off and my feet stink so bad. So I'm gonna leave my shoes outside and I'm gonna go take a shower right now. I spent last night at uh, Bordes de Graus um, <clears throat> Refuge last night, and uh, I was so glad I rolled in here about 10 o'clock last night, and the guy called to a couple of hotels in Tabascan, but they didn't have, um, they had one night open, but I would have had to run down to Tabascan to get it, and their restaurants were closed. I just decided to stay here, had a really good dinner, met up with two other hikers that I had met earlier on the trail uh, the day before. I just was able to shower, I did laundry. It's about noon now, so I'm headed down to Tabascan to see if I can get some supplies. Um, and uh, I'll probably just get supplies, have lunch there, and uh, keep on moving because I'm feeling good today. I had a very long, leisurely lunch at uh, one of the bars there. I bought some food. I think I have enough food for about a day and a half now. And I'm right now I'm just walking up this dirt road until I reconnect with the HRP. And uh, I'll probably just hike until seven or eight tonight, you know, when I get tired. 
It's about 6.30 right now, and there's a possibility I'll get to the first refuge by 8 p.m. tonight, so they might actually serve me dinner. Um, I don't know, I've dinked around a lot this morning and this afternoon, left kind of late, but honestly, I just needed the rest. I'm worn out. This morning, I was starting to feel a little depressed just because I've been pushing it so hard and just really fatigue. So I don't know. I'll just see how I feel in Canillo. I think I'll get there tomorrow. I may take a zero day if it's a really cool town and uh, check out the town. The last hut was uh, unmanned, but uh, I took a peek inside and there were a bunch of Spanish and a few French hikers in there. So I chatted with them and warned them about the upcoming trail because they were going the opposite direction as me. Anyway, you know, I always spend a lot of time talking with people. I enjoy it. It puts me a little bit behind, but it's fun. Um, but uh, that hut was uh, that little tiny Mountain Hut was way too crowded for me and there were more people on the way, so I just it wasn't going to work out. So I'll probably push on until about 9.30 tonight. This is so cool. This would actually, this looks pretty cozy actually. Most of the, most of the um, old rock huts that I've seen look pretty, smell bad inside. But this <laughs> actually smells yeah, pretty good. Know that clean but yeah. on that. It's about 8.40 a.m. right now and I'm leaving the Refugio um, Val Ferreira and um, I, it was a nice refuge, but I swear I had a sandwich last night that gave me food poisoning and I was up all night. I vomited, um, sat on the pot, and I really only got maybe four hours of sleep last night. It was, again, I was hoping for a better night's sleep, but I just, it never seems to work out for some reason. Anyway, I uh, am going to try to make it to Canillo today, and I think that's going to be a 20 mile hike with a lot of elevation gain. The fact that I didn't get enough sleep and I'm feeling a little bit sick right now, I just don't know how that's going to go. So I may have to stop in the city before that, which is just like a little, not even really a city, it's a little town uh, in Andorra. But I will make it to Andorra today, so help me God. Well, I feel like crap, but uh, I'm not so bad that I can't move. So I'm just very slowly making my way up this hill and um, stopping for some water, but I can't really drink a lot right now. So my throat, my mouth and my throat is really dry right now. Okay, I have left Spain. I am now in France for a little bit. And then in a few hours this afternoon, hopefully, I'll get into Andorra. It's about 11.30 right now, and I've gone over my first pass of the day, the easier one. The next one looks really high, but I'm kind of getting my appetite back. I don't feel like total shit anymore. I still feel weak and dehydrated, so I'm gonna pump some water here. But um, I don't think I'm going to get to Canillo today because it's just, it's too far and I just don't have the strength. I'm about 500 feet from the top of Col du Rat that separates France and Andorra. And uh, I don't feel like total shit. I don't feel great, but the, there's a cloud layer in here for a second. It's blown away, but those... Those dark clouds don't give me warm fuzzies, so I'm just hoping to get to the other side and make it to the hotel for the night.
I'm a cold rat right now, and uh, if I'm understanding the map correctly, it is literally all downhill from here. I'm exhausted, and I'm starting to feel raindrops. Well, I'm in Andorra now, and um, I was really hoping that I would get a cool passport stamp. Um, but once you're in the Schengen zone, you don't, they don't give that to you anymore. So it's like you enter Frankfurt and that's it. So you can't fill your um, passport with all those cool stamps anymore like you used to. I was debating whether to go over there and ask if um, there's a place to stay there, but honestly, I think it's much better if I hitchhike down this road to El Serrat and then um, try to find a place there, because that'll cut about three or four miles off my trip tomorrow. I found a hotel. It smells so good, it smells clean. It's got a bath, bathtub, and uh, it includes a three course dinner and breakfast. And I'm probably gonna fall asleep right now. So I was lucky enough to get a ride from a Spanish uh, trail runner who'd been uh, vacationing here and um, running the trails in, here in um, Andorra. And um, he gave me a ride down that saved me about two hours of walking time, so I really appreciated that. My shoes are literally coming apart. I made the mistake of um, being shoes that weren't brand new. I don't know if they're gonna last another two days. I think they'll barely last. Dinner time. I just ate a wonderful dinner that I could barely stay awake through, and now I'm gonna crash. Mm -hmm.